Hello ladies and gentlemen, Commissar Bro here today to take a look at making history. Um, essentially a lot of you have been asking how do you make money? Well money is really easy to make in this particular game and it has a much simpler mechanic than um, a lot of other games in the same genre have. Essentially money, as you can tell, is something that you always want to have a positive balance of, of course. Now, when you're in the industrial stages, basically you're trying to get to advanced industrialization with your country, that may be a little bit harder than it sounds. So, let's take a look real quick on ways to actually make that money. First off, the best way to make money is to take an advanced city, let's take London for example, and swap it over to luxury goods. Now, in this particular mod, well, basically, even if you're playing the base version of making history, just choose manufactured goods or whatever good type it is called. What's going to happen is that's automatically going to start producing you extra money, which it will not show up in the balance bar until your next turn. We can also go here uh, to the world market and if we have extra resources laying around we can sell them let's see since we're producing 225 goods a turn well why don't we just go ahead and go on the market and offer up about eh, 130 see that has a trade value of 39 million dollars so we do that and it's going to be put on the market and we should be good as far as that goes now if I was trying to if I had extra money laying, uh, laying over to help you know maintain my supply rate I could like go here and just pay for all the US oil so let's see our balance right now is positive 56 million let's see what happens when we end the turn so it went down to 44 million keep in mind a lot of it is readjusting to the fact that I'm not a computer player this is actually one of my save games and I'm playing as Russia rather than playing as the UK so basically that's gonna bring us down a little bit but that's okay Let's go, uh, let's go make some resources, some more goods as it will, and we don't really have too many resources to sell, but let's go ahead and take goods, and we'll sell off some of our extras, which that'll be worth $9 million in that turn, and bam, look at that, it's up to $85 million from our original $59 million. So, money is really, really easy to make in this game. It really takes a high industry to do it. Um, effectively anyway if you're a smaller country take Republic in Spain or you know France with your with a little bit less uh, IPUs money can be a little bit harder to come across which basically is the main reason that I focus so specifically on high industrialization you don't want to go into deficits because every basically billion dollars worth of deficit uh, affects a percentage of IPUs. Um, essentially, if you go far enough, you can actually have like minus 10% of your total IPUs, so on, and even minus 50% if you let that supply get low enough, which it will, you know, you can increase it and so on. You know, that's also like with your goods, you know, you want to keep your goods up. Realistically speaking, if you can have a positive economy, do it like really do it <laughs> have a high industrialized uh, economy as best as you can and you're gonna have a far more successful society than you know a lot of these other places like take Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia is never gonna be a major player in this game because they've only got 11 IPUs that means at best they can pump out a new unit every nine turns that's ridiculous it takes nine weeks to you know call out one basic infantry squad so yeah, my main gist here, and again, they're really, I, I, I can't say anything else really about money because it is incredibly simplistic. It's all based on, as you see here on the financial tab, it's all based on world trade, uh, which would be, in this case, <coughs> exports, uh, that's how much we're exporting, how much food we're producing across our empire, um, and how much goods we're making, and then, you know, national spending is displayed right there. 
So realistically, the more food you're producing, the more food production you have. So always increase the food production. Um, and the more goods you're producing, so on and so forth, the more money you're going to have overall. And if you're trying to get a little bit of extra cash, you know, make a, make a highly industrialized city and start producing a lot of goods. Um, and throw those goods on the market and see what happens. Because like, like I said, look, our, my income's up to 95 uh, 95 million. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. I hope this really short video is able to assist you at least a little bit in how to make money in making history gold. If you have any further questions, feel free to let me know. If anyone would like to know what mod I'm actually using, it's called the Onslaught mod, and uh, I can provide a link if needed. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You have a great day.